Welcome to Extreme Web Designs. My name is Rocky. In this video, I'm going to show you how to convert a scanned PDF to a Word document using Microsoft Word 2016. Please note that in order to proceed with this procedure, you need to have Microsoft Word 2016 installed on your computer or your laptop. So let's get started. So before we move on, let me show you real quick the difference between a scanned PDF document and a regular PDF. A scanned PDF is generally made out of files that are scanned by using a scanner and then put together in the form of a PDF. Whereas in a regular PDF, the pages could be in the form of text. So let me show you real quick the differences between the scan and the regular PDF. So this is my scanned PDF. As you can see, if I try to select any part of the text, I can't do that because that's an image. If I double click this, it's going to select the whole thing. So this is an image. This is a scanned PDF for your reference. But let me show you how the regular PDF is. Open up, and as you can see here, I can select any part of the text. So this is the difference between a scanned PDF and a regular PDF wherein in a regular PDF I can select the text as I want. I can right click and copy. But whereas in a scanned PDF, if I right click, it says copy image. Let's see how to convert the scanned PDF into editable word format. So let's exit this. So in order to convert the scanned PDF to word, you need to open it up in Microsoft Word 2016 or more. This may not work with the older versions of Microsoft Word. So make sure that you have Microsoft Word 2016 installed on your computer or laptop. So now right click on the scanned PDF file and select the open with option and choose word. If you don't have word listed over here, you can search the store or click on the choose another app option and then select word from within the list of options that show up on the screen. Because I have the word option over here, I'm going to click on that. And if you noticed, what it's essentially trying to say is that it's going to now try to convert the scanned PDF file into a Word document. So this may take a while depending on how much content is available in your PDF document. And as you can see, the Windows cursor is right now spinning, which means it is processing the information right now. If you don't want this prompt to nag you in the future, simply check this checkbox that says don't show this message again. And now I think it's done. So let's click on OK. So it says that this PDF contains interactive features that were not supported by PDF Reflow. Word will not display this content. It's, let's hit OK. As you can see, we have the information from the PDF document in editable Word format. Let's type some text. This is a test. This is just to show you how it's going to work. And there are some red underlines here, which means Word does not detect these words in its dictionary. So this could happen because of problems within the scan. Let's open up the scan PDF. So it's not letting me open it up. So I'm going to copy and paste it. I'm going to make a copy and then open the copy here. Okay. So let's try to compare the files that we had originally and then what we got when we made the change. And let's see why this happened. So on the one, two, three, fourth line. So it's showing a typo here. So let's go to the fourth one. One, two, three, fourth. So just to show you this a little better. So one, two, three, four. So there you go. So as you can see here, the word is modulate, but it's being represented as RRJulate, a carrier. So as you can see, this is happening because when this information was scanned using a scanner, the letters lost the space between them. So word is now confusing the letter M to the letter R. These are common problems which you might face if the scan is not proper or if the source from which you made the scan did not have the text in a proper manner. So we can look at some other examples of this. So the last line says cable communications link, whereas here it is cable communications link. Again, the letters M and M are too close to each other, which leads to a confusion within the software. Likewise, 
this one says organization but the letter s is supposed to be the letter z in order to be recognized by microsoft word so if i change this to z it's now a valid recognizable word so likewise for the most part the scanned pdf document was successfully decoded into a editable word document and now you can edit any part that you like so the only thing that you need to take care of is any images such as this one or any clickable elements will not appear in the final word document so one more test okay so pretty much everything is working that is it that is how easy it is to actually convert a scanned pdf document into an editable word document if this video was helpful please show your support by leaving a like comment and share the video on social media subscribe to the channel and tap the bell icon to receive all future updates Thanks for watching.